In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Gun Bunch Verticals to its fullest potential. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're sitting there and you're saying, I want to become better at this game, I want to win more money, I want to win more games, I just want to get better. I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and really quickly just wanted to let you know if you have not already turned on your notifications for the channel, some of you may have been subscribed for years but for some reason you're not able to get all my videos make sure that you turn on your notifications if you turn on your turn on your notifications for my channel that's going to allow youtube to basically notify you whenever we release a new video that way you never miss anything happening on the channel all right guys so real quick we're going to be talking about gun bunch vertical but before we go too far into this if you have any questions about today's video go ahead and text me my number is 208 218-6900 at the top left hand corner of your screen and if you want to get my free offenses and defenses that i release every single week to our text message members um, all you have to do is text the word madden to my new cell phone number which is 208-218-6900 and it should automatically send you a playlist with the um, with the schemes in it now, for those of you that don't know, I um, actually just released a full ebook on the Gun Bunch, and uh, we're gonna be talking today about the Play Verticals. If you wanna get the ebook, it is available for you in the description for just 15 bucks. Okay, guys, so real quick, I'm so, I mean, this is just such a good little concept, and I don't, I don't remember where I found this. I saw, I think Crush was the first person to find this out of Bunch, but this is a really, really good passing concept um, from the play verticals. It's a play that's really good. It's been good for years, but it's one of those plays that EA just keeps trying to patch. Um, and so anyways, we're going to show you for like backed off coverage situations. This is how you're going to be running this play. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to just streak the tight end. That's really the only thing that you have to do. Um, if you want to do something to the square receiver, you can, but I typically just leave him on his route. And all we're going to do is we're going to motion the circle receiver to the right, and then we're going to motion him to the left, and then we're going to motion him back to the right instantly, and as soon as we motion him to the right again, we're going to snap the ball. As you see, that's going to create this nice little window to hit the snap throw. Let me show you what I'm talking about as far as the glitch here. So basically, if I try to motion him out, I can't snap it. I'm jamming the X button. I can't snap it. If I try to motion him back in, I can snap it, but it doesn't really matter for me to snap it there. I mean, I can hit that little low ball uh, pass lead, but it's not super, super great. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to motion him out and snap the ball at the same time. And the reason why is because it's going to give me a massive advantage against any real defense, uh, in particular from a cover four or cover three. So what you're going to do is you're going to motion him in, you're going to motion him out, or motion him out, motion him in, and then motion him back out quick. As soon as you motion him out, you just snap it. And as you can see here, this is one of the best reads, one of the best quick reads uh, in Madden 21. It's very, very phenomenal uh, little passing concept. Now, let's say, for example, that they are running some type of cover four. I just want to show you the different coverages. So um, that right there was a cover three, meaning an outside quarter. This is an outside third, so I just want you to see what's going to happen here. Uh, outside third again you just wait for him to get to the sideline pass lead him to the outside and as you can see you're just going to roast i mean this is a really it's a great passing concept they're going to have to run something other uh, than cover four cover three or cover two uh invert so or cover three invert so you're going to see here i'm going to deep half both of the outside players um and i just want you to kind of watch what happens so again i'm going to motion him out motion him back in motion him back out really quick snap the ball and as you'll see here, just wait for him to get sideline, pass lead to the outside, and as you can see, it's a wide open laser against cover three invert. So that leaves two more specific coverages. The first one is cover two. Um, now cover two, this is a little bit unique. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna wait for him to clear the cloud flat. Now, if the cloud flat is 30 yards, it may take him a little bit, but most of the time you're gonna see that most cloud flats, he's gonna get over relatively quickly. You're gonna be able to pass that to the outside and you're gonna be able to absolutely dot it. That's cover two cloud flat. Now, man coverage is a little bit different. I will say that man coverage is a little bit different. So let's say that they run man coverage and you will see a lot of man coverage if you're running gun bunch. Um, so if they run man coverage, what you're going to do with this play is there is a small window whenever he cuts the inside here you're just going to low ball pass the inside as you can see there he does do a good job now most man coverages i want you to think about this for just a moment most man coverages they are shading inside and underneath okay so they're shading inside and underneath that's kind of the traditional shade and then they may drop these guys in the zones depending on the situation right so if they take the safety away if you have a fast receiver 
you could actually get this route over the top. Uh, you'll see here, it's gonna roll out and then bam. And you see he's gonna get that over that backside shoulder. So I'm just passing over and outside. And as you can see, you have a chance to get that over the top. Now, if you have a fast receiver, you're gonna get even more over top than that. Um, or if you have like a route tech, that's a good little route that you can go to. Let's say they're in cover zero, okay? But overall, as far as zone coverage goes, that's what you want to do. Now, I want to show you two other adjustments that they're going to make um, to deal with this coverage. The first one being match coverage. So real quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my zone drops off and put them back on default here. And I want to show you two specific defenses, a match concept and then a cover two concept. As you'll, you'll be able to see, though, any other concept they're not going to be able to guard this okay this is this is such a good read such a simple thing but it's such a good power uh, such a very powerful play so if they go to match coverage cover four show two uh just want to show you what's going to happen here so i'm going to motion him out motion him back in and then motion him back out and just quick hike and what you're going to see here is there is a small window but as you can see, you see the match does go on to him and does pick the ball off. Now, if you throw it inst, and I mean like instantly, like you have to throw it before the match coverage like recognizes it, recognizes that he's going vertical and that they need to switch to man coverage. You can throw this really, really fast. It's it is a, it is a very quick read though. Just throw it out there quick. It's almost like a flat route, but as you can see, uh, it does it is able to get open against cover four match just quickly. Okay. And then the last thing I want to show you is this Tampa 2. So let's say they run Tampa 2 and they're running it more at a default type place. Um, it's just going to take Tavon Austin a little bit longer to get over the top of this. You're not going to be able to throw it early, but you will be able to throw it late. As you see here, hard right pass. So you click on and just make sure you're swerve catching on the sideline. And then the last thing I want to show you is a 30 yard cloud flat. Um, we haven't even covered the left side stuff, but basically suffice it to say that the left side is um, that crossing route. They're almost always going to go user that crossing route, at least in my experience. So I don't put a whole lot of energy into that. Uh, the running back route is the route that is almost always open as a check down. You can playmaker him open if he's not open. Um, so just know that and be aware of that. But anyways, here I want to show you. So I put 30, I put my cloud flat coverage to 30 yards and uh, you're just going to basically wait for the vertical route to come open. Um, you're going to see here, it's going to wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. But eventually he's going to get over the top right there. And that's an absolute laser against a 30 yard cloud flat. So really what the, the solution to this is simply to man up the route. Uh, but if they run man coverage, I do want to hit on this really briefly here. Uh, if you watch this running back route against man-to-man, -man, uh, this running back route is super good against man-to-man. -man. He's just going to basically cut one way or the other and will always win against man coverage. So this play is phenomenal as far as how it does against beating man, against beating zone. It's, one, it's my favorite zone beater right now uh, in the game, at least just from a simplicity standpoint. Um, this crossing route is actually really good this year. It hasn't been great in years past. And this year it's actually really, really glitchy. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get the full tutorial on the gun bunch and learn everything that I know about the bunch in Madden 21, go ahead and pick up that ebook. It's just $15. It's in the description. I also created a bundle ebook offer where you can get the bunch and the bunch tied in together. And that's just 20 bucks. So for five more dollars, you get um, a whole slew of things on the bunch tied in, a whole bunch tied in scheme. Uh, alongside of it and that bunch tight end scheme is not just pa boot over it is several pages out of the gun bunch tight end it is probably 40 pages the the bundle ebook i think is about 75 to 80 pages long so a lot of material in there to digest but really will set you up for success for the last stretch or the final stretch of the madden 21 season so thanks for watching this video and like i said if you want to get that bunch and bunch tight end ebook both of them are available in the description each of them are 15 dollars separately and then together you can get them both together for 20 bucks thanks for your time guys and if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a text my number is 208-218-6900